Hello everybody, what is up? Welcome back to Assassin's Creed Rogue. We are back in New York, it appears. Uh, we just killed Kesuka Wase and Monroe died. Big stuff happening. Big stuff. So, that's it, guys. Here we go. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what else do you want from an intro? There is not much else to say. We are going to move on up now. I think we can run up that wall, we determined. So we just go out here. Clip, 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 and let's find this next mission right here. Interesting, what, what's that symbol? I wonder what that's gonna be. Do you swear to uphold the principles of our order? And all that for which we stand? I do. And never to share our secrets, nor divulge the true nature of our work? I do. And to do so from now until death, whatever the cost? I do. Then we welcome you into our fold, brother. You are now a Templar, harbinger of a new world. May the Father of Understanding guide us. May the, May the Father, Father of, of Understanding, understanding guide, us. guide us. Is that Hatham Kenway? What's happening? What? Back to the real world, I suppose? No? Okay. No, oh, maybe. Do you understand now? I'm starting to see why you're so interested in Shay Cormac. Yeah, back to the real world, okay. Shay has seen the true face of the world. And he has chosen his path accordingly. A similar choice will soon present itself to you. He does not dress like a CEO. I did not think you'd get this far. <laughs> but you seem to be on the right track. We still can't access the servers in the basement, but there's another one located at the top of the building near Melanie's office. That's your next stop. Sweet, thank you. You couldn't do it yourself? Awesome. Glad to know it. Hey, welcome. Welcome, guys. Welcome back. Hello, welcome to the office. Hey, why are you, like, slinking around the corner like that, dog? Back up, Jack. Alright. Told him off. And CCO, let's go. Cool. Could you stop by my office? We need to have a talk. Of course. Pretty darn cool. Pretty darn cool. Let's look around. Take some take a moment to like Whoa, we can actually go in. We can actually go in the bathrooms. Wow, amazing. So I don't think I have that level 2 yet. I think I only got level 1. Yeah. Um, so yeah, like I said in the last video, I think I think what the story is going to divulge into... Because you still got to keep the Templars as the bad guys. I don't, I don't think you go with Assassin's Creed and continue making these games and you're like, No, the Assassins were wrong the whole time. We need to um, the next server, why do you always... Every time I'm just like, I want to explore and see what's around. Why do you always, lady, have to get on my case? All right, let's just do it. Whoa. Now this is an office. Oh, we can go outside. Oh, we are so going outside real quick, guys. Oh, look at that. Wow, this game is so old. They got Far Cry 3 in here. For those of you who are curious, not only has Far Cry 5 been out for like two years at this point of recording the video, there's been like New Dawn and everything. Look at that, there's cars on the road. 
They're, they're going through each other, though, it looks like. Some crashes. Look at this. It's like a whole city. They really... They really did themselves here. Let's see what this says. Yeah, so Haytham Kemo, I think, was that, that guy that swore us in. Which, again, I think I mentioned in the other video, I'm pretty sure Haytham Kenway is the son of the, the pirate assassin, who was, I can't remember, and the father of Connor, who was the assassin in Assassin's Creed 3. Um, wow, this is cool. Alright, let's let's continue. Yeah, so I, th I think that uh, that'll just be like... It's another Far Cry 3 one, right over there. Far Cry 3. It'll be that uh, Achilles was just working against the assassins. This office used to belong to a man named Olivier Garneau. He was my predecessor as chief creative officer of Abstergo Entertainment. Otto Berg is a representative from our parent company, Abstergo Industries. He's showing you the true history of the world, just like they showed me. Olivier was kind, he was intelligent and passionate about our work, but a year ago, he caught a glimpse of this truth. They never found his body. This is not the way we normally bring people up to speed on these matters, but you've worked hard and are proving yourself, so... I'm granting you level two security access. Dope. The servers on this floor should unlock more of Shay's memories. So wait, were they saying that he was basically killed? By Abstergo? Because he knew too much? If that's the case, why would I want to continue working for you? That sounds horrible. He knew too much, so we murdered him. Now go find out too much for us. Either that or they meant that the assassins killed him. I don't I don't necessarily remember. I haven't played any of the games that were surrounding this kind of storyline before I think her name's Leia in any years. And there's level three over here. Completely restricted access. We aren't level three yet, we're only level two. Alright. Transparent and reflect. Well, that was beyond easy. That was silly easy. Let's see what they got for us now. Francois Macandal saved Baptiste from slavery and inducted him into his so-called brotherhood. Macandal was a vicious mentor, and in his desperate attempt to liberate slaves, he broke his own creed by indiscriminately killing nobles. Misguided as they are, some assassins are honorable. Macandal was not one of them. Thanks to the calculating genius of Madeleine de Lille, the Templars made an example of Macandal by way of public execution in 1758. His pathetic excuse for a brotherhood quickly fell apart. When his comrade and childhood friend Agathe fled to Louisiana, Baptiste saw the futility of his former life in Macandal's brotherhood. Madeleine saw Baptiste's potential and instructed her Templars in New Orleans to strike a deal with him. If he could draw Agathe out of hiding and eliminate him, he would be granted a place in the Templar order. Although Baptiste was killed by the assassin Aveline de Grand Pré, his path clearly demonstrates the inherent superiority of Templar ideals over assassin terrorism. Burger admires Baptiste's willingness to prove himself to the Templars. I don't remember Baptiste in uh, that's any of them. Alright, cool. So excited. Though I kind of want to check out like where the level 2 stuff is. So maybe we'll go check out the uh, the main floor that we're normally on. We'll go look at or look around for level 2 things. Because I think there's some stuff that's level 2 over there. Might as well, right guys? Oh, of course. Here we go. And let's go to Helix Research. Smooth move, numbskull. I've got the next set of Shay's memories loaded up and ready to go. Okay. We are nearly there. Know that you are aiding a worthy cause, even if you do not yet know what it is. That's not the best way to sell it. Promise you, it's, it's really great what you what you're doing here. Yeah, look at this. It's already level two right here. 
Shouldn't trust me. I'm gonna go and look at everything now. Let's look at everything. Wardlow, M O Wardlow, subject Connor. Hi, M O. The Washington Wolf has a nice ring to it. Da 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 da. Cool. Okay. Any other fun things over here? More Assassin's Creed. Oh, look at that. The Assassin's logo. Far Cry 3. Some cool stuff over there. Let's just do it. Why not? We're here. Let's just do level 2. Okay. Oh, I can s turn it. I didn't realize I could turn it. pretty easy too given the nature of our current investigation I have been looking at other assassins who despite themselves have helped the Templar cause the first is Clay Kazmarek who infiltrated Warren Vidic's animus project in Rome he became the project's subject 16 Kazmarek's rich ancestry helped Vidic to identify the Renaissance assassin Ezio Auditori as a person of interest. Driven mad by overexposure to the Animus, he committed suicide. Damn. However, Kazmarek may have unexpectedly become useful again. While in the Animus, Subject 16 came into contact with the first civilization entity known as Juno. Perhaps studying his bizarre animus experiences can help us find a way to deal with the looming threat Juno promises. With Subject 16 out of the picture, Vidic needed a replacement. Desmond Miles, a runaway assassin, was captured in September 2012 and was used as Animus Subject 17 to further the search for an Apple of Eden. He managed to escape and uncovered an imminent threat to the planet. A solar flare similar to the one that wiped out the precursor race over 75,000 years ago. Desmond Miles also reactivated a first civilization temple in New York and used it to save the world. But it cost him his life. Abstergo recovered his body. In death, Desmond Miles became Sample 17. And his valuable genetic data was uploaded to the cloud servers in order to benefit all branches of Abstergo. Whether they live or die, we must continue to find ways to make the assassins work for us. Strange. Strange, strange, strange. Oops. Controller got disconnected for a sec. No biggie deal, though. Oh, do we want to do another one, guys? Let's see how difficult it is. That's right. Goodness, this one's so frustrating. Okay.
This is so lightly infuriating. All right, I don't want to do it anymore. I'm done. I'm done. We'll move on. Embarrassing. Embarrassing. All right, let's let's head on back to. I believe this is it. A worthy Shit. cause. What's happening? Another glitch. Same one as before. Chase back and notch it down. See if you can complete the memory this time. Sweet. All right. Got it. Shay's in Paris, all right. I even got a date for you. 1776. At this point in time, Franklin was the American ambassador to France. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Otto Berg, professional killer and amateur historian. Wow. So Shay is super old. It's 1776, which I'm pretty sure is the uh, birth of America year. Independence, if you will. What are you doing? I have no quarrel with you. You uncultured swine. You should not have left your backwater your colony. Go ahead. In Philadelphia, actually. Oh. So, he's a comedian, too. Help! Help! Shay? Is that you? Ah, how long has it been? Uh, where are my manners? Thank you, my friend, thank you. But what are you doing in Paris? With all due respect, sir, this is no time to talk. You're still in danger. Yes, I... I must return to my family. Okay, interesting. Criminals will attack in five, four. Wait, where'd Franklin go? Franklin, you are moving way too quick, my guy. Gonna be in that hay barrel. <laughs> Brent Franklin, aggressive runner. Thank you, Shay. Please wait for me. I just want to make sure my family is safe. He's going to scream, we're going to have to go save them. What does it say? Locate and kill the criminals. Okay, that was one. I have a feeling, hay barrel. No. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Trying to get a higher overarching view, if you will. Jesus. <laughs> Let's see if we can't locate him. Oh, there he is. There he is. He thought he was sneaky, but he wasn't. How did you do that? It was quite 
fortunate. I make my own look, Master Franklin, as I suspect you do. Yes, indeed, my good fellow. Yet, without your assistance today... Well, you have my thanks, Shay. Is there anything I can do for you, to repay you for this... Uh, kindness? Actually, there is. I need to meet a business acquaintance. I heard he would be at the Chateau de Versailles two days from now. And they don't just let anyone inside the royal palace. Very well. I'll see what can be arranged. Awesome. Nice. That's the best we can do for now. We keep trying to sequence memories out of order, which is why we're crashing like this. What do you suggest? If we progress further with Shay's life in the colonies, I'm confident we can get better results from these Paris memories. Very well. Keep me informed. Uploading the next memory sequence now. Oh, here we go. Next memory sequence? Let's do this. Shay Cormac, I hear you are the Templar's new don of precursor archaeology. I'm no expert, sir. I just witnessed what the assassins can do with those damn sites. I have spent years investigating Precursor leads. Tell me what you've seen. Well, I know both the Assassins and Templars are looking for pieces of Eden. Powerful weapons, mind control and apples, but this time it's different. We haven't found an apple, but... a tree. These temples hold the Earth together like roots. Disturb them, and Haiti falls, or... Lisbon, or any other place the manuscript shows. And the assassins are blindly interfering with these structures? Aye. And if we don't stop them, they'll continue destroying cities. I see. We have intelligence of assassin activity in the uh, Louisburg Fortress. We'll be meeting with a Royal Navy officer, James Cook. He recently gained a commission that could be strategically valuable. Gist has the charts. Very well. I'll depart shortly. Colonel Monroe spoke highly of you, Shay. He was convinced you could become the best among us. I expect you will not disappoint. I don't plan to, sir. Nice. Oh, back in the loading dock. Don't know what else to call this, so it, it is just a loading dock. That's all we're doing here. Loading up. Getting things going. Do 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 do. Oh. Guest, do you know why the Grand Master is so interested in Captain Cook? Well, sir, he's very intelligent and ambitious. His knowledge of seamanship Whoa. is second to none. And if I trust my favorite barmaid in Halifax, he also just became captain of his own man of war. He's also an expert at deciphering Narwhal. codes. A man with such a skill is certainly an asset to our cause. A kind of. I want to see just where we're where we're supposed to be headed to. Um, it's not far, but we'll start a mission. So I think this is actually as good a time as any to end off the video, guys, and, and say thank you so much for all the love and support and uh, stopping by and watching. Really appreciate it, guys. If you enjoyed the video and the series especially, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Also, go check me out on Twitch, Timo24 over there. Um, and that's really it guys really looking forward to continuing through with the story and seeing where it goes like I said at the beginning of the video and I think the last video as well that I'm pretty sure it's gonna turn out where it's just like Achilles was really bad and it's not the assassins but it drove Shay to be a Templar and 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 that's where we're at so I don't know that's just my theory guys but thank you so much really appreciate it uh, really looking forward to going on forward guys and I hope you are as well and uh, that's it have a beautiful day, guys, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye, everybody.